legendary North Ferry Stadium on the campus of Bowling Green State University today is Joe Moorhead. Today for head coach Scott Leffler. And he's going to put it up right away. He'll check down. And he'll find uh, his uh, very. Yeah, it's good to see old Scotty with a head job, and he's coached a lot of places. It's a big time run. Breaking free is Terrion Stewart. Right at the beginning of the red zone here. For quarterback Connor Bazelak. He's going to come underneath. That shallow cross is hauled in by. He's trying to put Bowling Green on the board. From 46 yards away. They like to do a little more quarterback run. Under Cuffler's first throw of the afternoon. That wheel route. He's got Lingard. Lingard might have housed that if not. Play action. And that out route is hauled in. As Jeff Undercuffler has hit a couple of sticks to Daniel George. This is third and very short. First down. Uh, Akron is uh, they went to. Drake language competitiveness and response to adversity and most of all finishing pressure coming under Cuffler in trouble put it up in the end zone a cup Phoenix Arizona three for six on his field goal attempts from 45 yards away he's got enough leg but he pushed it wide right so the Bowling Green offense back in the football field stay on the ground as that quick run comes from uh, Odu on third down and short. Third consecutive carry. That's uh, Akron Zips first down. Drake catch of the year for Josiah Gaithings. Back to the ground game. Big hole in that A-gap. Akron's getting it blocked and running. The Red zone time for this uh, Akron offense. Back to the ground game, outside the edge, into the house, touchdown. Well, the Akron Zips got out on that edge in the first, uh, close to 14 minutes as Lorenzo Lingard turned on the... Uh, Different. And remember, I was trying to tell him, like, in this conference, especially guys that take over new programs, Mike, hey, Chris Creighton went through it, Chuck Martin went through those one-loss defense and stuff. Some air. They're doing a solid job offensively off that play fake. That throw got picked off. It is intercepted inside the 10 and knocked out of bounds. Husky, the sophomore who is being lauded as one of the very best on this defense that will turn that ball over. Tied for fourth in the country. This is Terry on Stewart lowering the pads. He's in the house and Bowling Green. Go back to those the defensive play that ultimately puts points on the board. Jalen Husky just gave touchdowns. That was the goal here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with Billy Fessler on that short crossing route, they put it in the hands of TJ Banks, which is gonna wants to put it up. Now, I got to get out of that pocket. He's in trouble. Sack time. On first down as a glorified run game. All right, he had started five of the last seven. Now that inside delay, and that's Terry on Stewart. Look at Stewart. Keith Moore is the uh, the backup tailback to Terry on Stewart. Now stepping up, seeing some green in front of him, and uh, taking that uh, seven. The line to make is at the 49 in Bowling Green territory. Under Cuffler, under duress, and that throw is going to be ruled incomplete. And now Akron's got to punt it away. What well, that high snap and going to pull that down and look at Dante Jackson. Jackson. And down by three of the Akron zips here late. Play action. Under Cuffler. Sack time. Down he goes. As after the big defensive play off the edge from Cassius Howell. Under Cuffler. Checking it down. He's going to come underneath. And he hit that throw. Clock here. Third and 20. Got to come up with a play to keep the drive alive. Under Cuffler checking it down again. That's going to come back. As 25 again, that line to make is inside the 25 of Bowling Green. Under Cuffler. And football's out. Bowling Green's picked it up. Got it in their hand. That's going to be a 32 yard field goal from the left hash from Allen Anaya. Got a lot of leg. And Anaya. We'll put three behind the sticks on third and long. Third and 15. 
under Cuffler. Short crossing route. He checked it down and uh, was able to hook up with break and tackle. That dialed up for his quarterback, Jeff Undercuffler. Pocket collapsed. His throw is caught. Making that grab. Uh, Pocket scheme and knows when to cut, get that foot in the ground. Lingard again. Move those sticks. First down, Lorenzo Lingard and uh, this offensive line. Talked to him this week. We'll enhance that in a moment. Third and 25. Undercuffler is going to fire the out. So they took that uh, that shallow crossing route. 64 yards rushing today of the 66. And that Bowling Green has accrued and uh, man is forced 17 missed tackles. I mean, he makes people miss after he gets through the line. So I mean, he, he's a six of pop. You're going to get a heavy workload. Stewart again. First down, a lot more. This is Terrion Stewart. Still alive at 200. Long day for you. Now Stewart's going to get the football. Or check that. That throw is hauled in. And uh, making that grab for uh, <laughs> yeah, extremely young running backs. Off play action. Now that throw is going to be hauled in. Positions all the way to the back end. This is third and eight. Now that throw is going to be hauled in. First down and some more. As you saw there, Island University. Back to that RPO and that run pass option. Look at the shake. Terrion Stewart, he's in the house. Absolutely sensational. Show the leg and take it away from Terry. Capabilities, which are plentiful. But Scott Leffler told us he's a, a tremendous teammate without the foot. All right, let's see what. Uh, Joe Moorhead's offense has in mind with Jeff Undercuffler in trouble. Down he goes as he took a shot. The football is out. Only points on the year. Got to take advantage of that defensive turnover on that throwback to the end zone. Flags are going to fly. Now first down for the two-yard line. Oh, Terry on Stewart. Look at him break off tackles again, and he's in the end zone. Young man basically says, no problem. I'll find my way into the house. Uh, afternoon for Stewart, and he's delivered. They haven't been able to throw the ball as effectively and efficiently as they would like. But and it'll be with quarterback Jeff Undercuffler and off play action. He'll deliver that first down throw. Let's see if a flag comes out there. A terrific young man, as I said, uh, got to know him uh, during his high school career. Under Cuffler will uh, check down and put the football in the hands of Drake Anderson. For him, everything that Akron does, uh, Bowling Green does defensively starts with him. Under Cuffler's throw, receiver, and it's picked off. Bowling Green has got another eye into recruiting, get those extra practices. And a fire middle, and that is hauled in. Touchdown. Harold, talented tight end. Uh, he took that rope of a throw. Yeah. I saw Harold Fannin in his high school career, Marcus, uh, from that uh, very strong Kenton. Goes to the Falcons. A lot of getting busy, huh? Yeah. No doubt about that. This is a third and ten. Undercuffler is going to check down. That's going to be a first down as Akron's going to get the field. Undercuffler just 15 of 29 this afternoon for 176. Going to throw his 30th pass of the day. And that was what an analogy, partner. Very <laughs> good. Carrot in front of the donkey. Undercuffler's got to get out of the pocket. Bought some time and hit his throw. So he bought. So Taj Bullock off a of play fake. Oh, in trouble. In trouble. Down he goes, sack time. Coaching career while we were still on scholarship. This is Camden Orth now. Orth has got a lot of green in front of him using the uh, Jason Patterson is the running back right now. And I see uh, off that uh, that zone read concept that are the Mac East division. Now again, uh, that RPO and uh, the quarterback will keep the football. That's Camden. Get on the ground like that. Now Orth. And a good look in zone. Hepto is hauled in. Tech ball Green. Making that grab for the Falcons uh, in the end again, zone. Uh, for Bowling Green. Alan Anaya. Ibrahim.
put six on the board. They're gonna get back at it. And uh, and they're gonna go back to now we've seen the two quarterbacks today. They're gonna go back to this. We are halfway through this fourth quarter. Under Cuffler. But uh, you know, unfortunately, just been a a lot of check down. Hey, listen, that's why Akron wanted to hire him and uh, made sure they got it done. Excellent catch in traffic. Clock on the move as we're inside six minutes. Under Cuffler had to get out of the pocket, made that late throw. Jake, for a reason, and when he goes out, you know, it's, it's going to be a little different to have the same magic. Yeah, going to go back to running back Lorenzo Lingard out of the. Uh, they're going to want to bounce back against Kent State under Cuffler's throw against softer coverage, and that is hauled on the move is. Uh, Quarterback Jeff Undercutler. That quick out again inside the five yard line. And get some reps and they're still going to get evaluated. Now back to that zone read. Ground game and outside the nup Akron touchdown. Drake Anderson. So the fifth year senior. Defense the running number 18. That penalty is declined. Track the point is good. Timeout on the field. Drake Anderson got the end. Oh, yeah. There. And Leffler's maybe has his quarterback of the future here. Now uh, running free outside the numbers. Uh, what you also do is you rest up your starters. You don't want to get anyone injured. You still got some important games coming up. It's that RPO again and uh, pulling the football. Right, uh, Connor Bazelak and Camden Arth are both seniors. We're redshirt seniors. So with these young players, football, Nick, you never know. Scott Leffler and Joe Moorhead uh, come together, congratulate one another. This I, I, yeah. I really think if you can play defense the way they played the last two weeks and then run the football, clean up the penalties, don't turn it over, Bowling Green. Here that uh, made it work for you on ESPN. Now for my partner, Marcus Ray. I'm Michael Regai. Hope you enjoyed it, everybody.